Hello everybody. This is not the European Song Festival, but it comes close. It has to do with music and the European Union. Twenty-seven voices, one melody. The European Union. The bridge to connect 27 member states. Culture in the European Union. United in diversity. True or a nonsensical cliché? Music as a test case. Is music a language that everybody understands? One European culture, does it exist? Living in another European member state, what does it bring? Questions at the center of the project 27 Voices, One Melody. Initiated by the Embassy of the Netherlands in Portugal to celebrate the European Presidency of Portugal from January until July 2021. Twenty-seven young musicians, most of them Portuguese, studying and working all over Europe to play music and reflect on their, our European soul. Beethoven's Ode of Joy, adapted by a Portuguese and a Dutch composer, serves as an inspiration. fazer estas imagens numa ponte, uma ponte que une margens, uma ponte que une territórios, que é exatamente isso também que a Europa faz, unir territórios, unir culturas, unir nações. Hey, hello! Where are you at the moment? I'm currently in Bonaire, a special municipality of Netherlands. Hello, I'm in the Netherlands, in the city of The Hague, but more precisely, I'm in front of the Binnenhof. I'm currently living in Lübeck, a city in Germany, and uh, I chose to study in Germany because of the quality and diversity of orchestras that exist, and because uh, I hope to be part of one in the future. I'm currently studying in Brussels, I'm doing my master's at the Royal Conservatory of Brussels. Olá, em que país é que estás a viver? I live in Cologne, in Germany, and I came to study here because I wanted to study with Professor Daniel Gauthier at the um, University. 
University of Music in Hanover. I came to the Netherlands to do my master in classical saxophone on the Royal Conservatoire there. Being in uh, another European country, do you feel an insider or maybe sometimes an outsider? For sure the insider. Uh, well, we are the lucky the Netherlands is an international country, so it's, it's easy, really easy to talk with the people. It was the first time that I came here that I just fell in love with Scotland and the city, Glasgow, and I had an immediate connection with my, with my school, um, because everyone there is just so friendly and welcoming. I think in Brussels most of us are outsiders, and somehow that brings us together at the same time. Uh, it's easy to go back to our roots and our communities and feel especially homesick, like going to a Portuguese bakery and getting a good broa or an apple.
what were your expectations with regard to what would you like to bring and what would you like to receive from the country you're living in now? What I want to bring is some culture from my country uh, and my way of working and thinking about music and uh, what I want to receive um, is good experiences and I want to understand also a bit more of the Italian culture which is very strong, a bit more of the art, the language, the gastronomy and the history of the country. I came to Brussels hoping for an excellent education with uh, the top masters of my craft as well as a very international environment uh, and by working on pieces by Portuguese composers at my Belgian conservatory, I hope to make uh, Portuguese music more well known here as well. What I find more difficult is the language and being able to express myself with it. But the fact is that I'm living here, so I really need to speak German. But for example, last year I did an Erasmus in another city and I used to speak English a lot and it was never a problem. Actually, doing an Erasmus is one of the most amazing opportunities that every student in Europe can have. Choosing to study in another country for a semester or two, it's really life-changing. When I came to Bonaire, uh, my expectation was to share my knowledge uh, about music, uh, my performing skills, my way of playing and uh, what I'm expecting to receive actually is the opportunity to be in a different community uh, with different uh, views, with different perspectives about everything. And uh, that is happening, it's good.
quais são as tuas expectativas sobre o futuro da Europa? A minha esperança para o futuro da Europa é que se torna mais unificada, mas também mais aberta e bem-vinda, mais justa e mais solidária. Espero que no futuro a Europa possa ser mais como uma comunidade grande, not an individual community, but a, as a world community. And uh, I think we, we, we should uh, open our arms for the people that need help. Maybe in the future, we Europeans will need help and we will want to have a, a, a good hand. Huh? So, yeah, I will. Do you feel like there is something like a common European cultural identity? Yes, for sure. Um, like you know, music is international language, and um, that built a lot of connections between countries and people. And in European community, we have a lot of support, mainly for the younger generation to learn, to answer, to to share. And of course, you share music, you share lives, you share you share cultures. So that openness is typical for me. Uh, and this example is about these cultures, but it happens also with uh, music, for example. It's, it's very interesting to, to, to see uh, this uh, common European uh, cultural identity in uh, other ways of express art. Uh, this doesn't happen if I compare, for example, one, um, one country from Europe with another country from uh, um, another continent. So I recognize the common European cultural identity. You know, sometimes you want just a particular dish from home and made by people at home and you, you just can't have it. So, yeah, so that is, so that <laughs> is very um, present in your life. Uh, but I would say for people that want to live or study abroad, um, uh, I, w I would just encourage them to do it because um, you gain so much and for me I find that it was it has enabled me to grow and to sort of get more prepared for, for the future um, and I think that's great so just follow your dreams um, don't give up and I mean Europe is a great place to start. Thank you so much, dear Ambassador, for bringing us together in this special day to celebrate Europe's Day, the 9th of May. Muito obrigada. May I compliment you, State Secretary Zacharias, on the Portuguese presidency. Although we cannot always be physically together, you clearly united us. Canção do Mar, played by Vento do Norte, the Northern Wind, an ensemble with the Dutch captain, Hank van Twillard, also the captain of this project, a Dutch soul with a Portuguese heart, a musician capable of building the virtual bridges between countries and people within Europe. He arrived in Portugal, years ago on a holiday, fell in love with the country, found his future wife and never left. He has inspired dozens of Portuguese students of the saxophone, many who live and work all over Europe. The great support of these students and friends of Hank for this project is proof of their respect for him and for his truly European spirit. Thank you, Hank!